that. That was the local cop. He's coming by in a half an hour. Trying to say something. Saying that we'll be open for another half hour. Can I give you another? I'm buying. It's your money. I haven't seen your face around here before. Passing through. Ever been to Hoboken before? Yeah. Yeah, I was here. Once. It's a long time ago. What brings you to this part this time around? Business. I sold it. They bought it. What kind of business are you in? Right now, I'm a paying customer. No offense, pal. Where's the John? Door at the end of the bar. Turn right. Hey, what kind of business are you in, anyway? I'm a traveling salesman. This is a bar, kid. It's not a disco. Where is he? Don't come in here. Who? Him. He's in the can. He'll be out in a minute. I'll wait. In the meantime, give me a bird. You got proof of your age? You don't serve minors in this bar. This ain't no bar. Looks like a bar to me. This place is just another cruddy saloon. But tonight, this place is the OK Corral and Booty Hill all rolled into one. Give me the bird. Show me your ID. Bird. ID. Bird. ID. Bird. ID. Identification. Would well, you have that bottle draft? Your silences are tough to come by. They're illegal and hard to get. Potato does the trick. I pull this trigger, and the guy in the next room couldn't even hear it. You want the guy in the bathroom? Uh, the traveling salesman? Traveling salesman? I didn't see you. I didn't see nothing. Bless yourself. <laughs> has come to pay the bill. You gotta remember to look over your shoulder. <laughs> so one day somebody's bad's gonna come up from behind you. Hell, 
the sad day comes in every great gun man's life when he gets outdrawn by somebody younger, quicker, just playing faster. <laughs> well, you got yourself beat by the best there is, Mr. Man with no name. The joke of it is I got outdone by a rank amateur. Stupid. I'm the most dangerous gunman there is. You're an amateur. You do what I tell you, I'm gonna blow your gray matter all over this bar. Now you open up your coat and take out your gun. Slow. You hold your handle with two fingers and you lay it on the bar. You got me? No tricks. Don't worry, you pointy little head, kid. I never argue with a gun on my neck, even when there's an amateur holding the trigger. Undo it! Get away from the bar. Oh, gee, I was just getting a buzz on. Get away from the bar. You see that chair over yonder? Well, you sit your ass down in it. That's a whole pile of improvement, now that we're eye to eye. I don't fancy looking up at a man that's smaller in stature than me. I guess that must be a problem for you, son. Must be a drag looking everybody you meet in a kneecap. That's big talk for a broken down old fart. Son, is your problem that you're short in general, or are you an asshole in particular? I ain't your son. My name is Lake. Use it. Whatever you say, freak. It's Lake. Lake. Looks like somebody pissed in it. <laughs> God, you cruddy little hoodlum. You do your job, be done with it. You're gonna learn respect. You're gonna learn respect if I have to put lead in both your kneecaps. The least you're gonna do is learn to fear me. That's entirely unlikely. Some things take time. Some things take patience. I've been waiting on this here moment my entire lifespan. I'm gonna bleed it dry. You're gonna learn respect if it takes hours. Okay. So I took the man with no name. You don't have one, do you? You can call me Smith. Mr. Smith. Well, Mr. Smith, I'm disappointed. When you look at your pecker? At least mine still works. It flies open. <laughs> hey, Lake. Answer me a question, Lake. Shoot. What is it exactly that inspires you to take up this particular profession? The pay is bad. The only guaranteed pension is a grave in a gutter somewhere. You get respect, because folks are scared of you. What you get is your dick in the dirt. When I gun you down, I'm going to be known as the man who shot the man with no name. From the looks of that clown costume and the way you handle that gun, I'd say you'll enjoy their reputation about five minutes before somebody tries to take you. And take you, they will. You calling me an amateur? I'm a poor sport. Being killed brings out my bad side. However, I will give you some professional advice. And because of your charm, I won't even charge you my usual consultation rates. Consultation rates? Yeah, I got a going business. First of all, there's your gloves. I don't wear any. That means you left your fingerprints on everything you touched in this place. The door, the bar top, the beer bottle. Easy trace. 
You got any tape on the handle of that cannon you're packing? You got prints all over that, too. Well, leave it lying around. You'd be lucky that old junk heap don't blow up in your hand. Billy, the kid used the same model. That bartender was the first man you ever killed, wasn't he? No. Bullshit. It's written all over your face. That was your first kill. You better be scared of me. Wise up, Blake. You don't want this. I'd kill any man who said what you said to me. Now you walk out of here, and we'll call it square. I got you under my thumb. I can make you eat this. I can make you wrap your mouth around it. You're driving nails in your coffin, Lake. You keep talking. Pound in a few more. You don't have a cigarette. Stop. The match. I got it. Right here. Stop. Got to put him back, Lake. Always got to put him back. Before you kill me, Lake, I'd just like to say you're the best I ever gone up against. You honest? Oh, yeah. You got the makings of a real gunman. We're a special breed, you and me. Ain't too many of us left. You know, that's an honor hearing that from you. you know, there ain't many people I can talk to, but I can talk to you because you're a gunman and you know where I'm coming from. What are you doing in your spare time? Well, what do you do? Look over my shoulder, mostly. You don't have any hobbies, huh? Well, I do have one. Would you like me to show you? Sure. Two things I never travel without, Lee. My gun and my harp. If I ain't playing with one, I'm playing with the other. You know what I mean? Play it. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? You, you, you take me in a fair fight. Where'd you get that scar? The mark of Cain. Where'd you get it? 
My old man gave it to me. He was a gunfighter out west, just like you want to be. My dad gave me this scar. He tried to crush my skull with the butt of his gun. What was the matter with a bullet? He used him up on my mother. She was as beautiful as an angel, and he shot her. I got a picture of her. I don't know who he was or what he looked like, but he tried to kill me. That's how I got this scar. Where are you from, Lake? Hoboken. Yeah, you like that? Well, you're gonna take it with you to your grave, because I'm bored with you. So long, Mr. Smith. No guts, Lake. Could you take me in a fast car? I don't need to. Yeah, you do. You know you do. You'll wonder the rest of your life whether you could be man enough to take me in a fast draw. You give me my gun back, and let's see what you can really do. No. Come on, Lake. I thought you were a man. I'm disappointed in you. Mm -hmm. I thought you would be the guy who could finally take me. on your feet. Sorry, son. It wasn't any other way. Come on. Have a drink, son. I'm buying. Go away. I did once before. I will again soon enough. Come on. Have a drink. It'll kill the pain. Get out of here. Come on, look me in the eye. Come on, look me in the eye. Fuck you! Talk like that to your father! Speak. 
ain't my father. No. Recognize her. That's right, she was an angel. Way too good for the likes of us. That ain't much time left. Now you listen up close. I'm gonna clear up some things for you. Now your mother was sweet and pure. She was a gentle woman. You killed her. Listen up. She was my she was my ticket out of this, this cigarette butt of an existence. We got married. I bought a house not far from right here with a white picket fence and a washer and a dryer. And I decided to go straight. I hung my gun in my holster in the closet and I got a regular job. She wanted to have a baby and I didn't. I wanted my line to end with me. But I thought maybe, just maybe. So we had a baby. We had you, son. It looked like everything was going to work out fine. And then he struck one night when I was out buying cigarettes. Another cocky young gun who just wanted to try his hand with me. I came home to find her lying on the floor with a bullet and a pretty head. And you were standing in the room in your crib, crying your lungs out. Well, I went to the closet gun on. I hit you. I hit you. I hit you. But I, I just wanted to knock you unconscious, son, so you wouldn't remember any of that. The dirty bastard had done his deed in front of your eyes. I ran out of that house. I ran into the night and back into a life where I couldn't take you with me. I had no way to take care of you. I swear I Sorry, son. <laughs> Goose fight! Come out with your hands up! That's the second curse of our blood, son. We're born out of time. What are you doing? Don't say anything. Just don't do anything for one minute. You'll get out of here alive and free as a bird. It's your last warning. Got you. You'll do just fine for yourself, son. I know you will. I want you to become anything you want to be. Just remember, this is what guns get you. Drop those guns! Drop them! Shut up! Hey, cop! Come on in! Shoot the bartender what I get? You lousy bucks! This kid ain't got no money on him. <laughs> they have time for a stick-up, man. Yo, one second. Drop those guns. Drop them. Destination hell When the devil comes to greet me I'll outdraw him as well I don't got no El Dorado Got no job, got no rules Got no credit card
charge no money, don't accept no substitute. I'm a loner, I'm a drifter. I got honor, I got pride. There are those who just believe me till they felt the lead inside. I'm the king of all the gunmen, and my reputation's grown. I have killed cemeteries with pretenders to the throne. And the highway is my hometown. 